Welcome back to River City Live. Did you know a lot of people drink goat's milk for health reasons? But did you know from goat's milk that you can make goat soap? You can. Rance Adams has more. Tucked away in the most random spot one can imagine, the preferred organic dairy farm can be found. Though Feeney Sawyer maintains a myriad of animals, her main focus is on these guys, goats who supply milk for her soap making business. Um, how did someone get into goat dairy farming? My daughter was, I see, eight, seven or eight, and she joined 4-H in St. Johns County, the goat forum, and she showed goats, and she's basically the one that got it started. Okay, so how does that spin into soap making? Well, when you have dairy goats and you breed them, you end up with a lot of milk. So your next question, you can either drink it all, but you think, well, what am I going to do with all this milk? So we decided to make soap, and she used to help. We started making a lot, and then we really enjoyed it and found a benefit. Well, that's nice, but I'm still not convinced. I like my store-bought styles. A homemade bar of soap, you have little to no chemicals. You might have a fragrance oil, you'll have an essential oil, but basically, other than the sodium hydroxide, which you have to have for saponification, which is actually the, what makes soap, um, there's, it's chemical free and it's a lot easier on your skin. The soap in the store is technically not soap, it's a detergent and it has sodium lauryl sulfate, which is very hard on your skin, leaves you that kind of dry, itchy feel. Um, then there's soap that's made with water. You can use any liquid in soap. Um, some people use beer, some people use just plain water, but I use fresh raw goat's milk and I use that as opposed to a powdered milk because I think it has more fat, a higher fat content. Personally, I would go with beer, but I can see the benefit of using the goat milk. Raw milk though? Come on. The reason that I use the, the full fat goat milk, the, the more fat in it, the more creamier it is on your skin. The actual property of goat's milk, it has a very small molecular structure so it absorbs into your skin. It doesn't need an enhancer like most cosmetics use. It's also, um, it doesn't have the allergens that cow's milk has and that's why a lot of people, you, they can drink it that cannot drink cow's milk and so you don't have as many allergic reactions to goat's milk. There's nothing worse than coming out of a shower feeling fresh and clean only to spend hours itching because of allergies. I am speaking from experience. Okay, let's learn what goes into the creation. This is the goat's milk mixed with a lye. And what I do is I freeze all of the milk. I milk throughout the year, freeze the milk, because you can't put lye into fresh milk or it curdles, and it, it's not very pleasant smelling. So I mix the goat's milk and the lye together. It makes sort of a creamy slushy. I take different oils that are called for in the recipe and I formulate my own recipes and I do that by looking up the different properties of oils and which ones are beneficial for what particular skin condition and then you pour it into the mold. And then the next day, this is what it looks like. And I cut it and then I put it on a drying rack and there it sits for two to four or five weeks until it's nice and hard. And then I sell it. Uh, looks like I'll be changing my body cleansing regimen, especially if it means that I benefit beyond feeling so fresh and so clean. I'm Rance Adams, reporting for River City Live. <laughs> so how neat is that? She has a dairy farm right in the middle of Mandarin. Right in the middle. It's like all this, like, acres of land. There's yeah. a bunch of different houses, and butted up around it is like this new development. It's crazy. And, you know, if you're in the new development, you wake up to... <laughs> whatever else is going on but oh one question too what did the soap smell like uh, <laughs> it smelled, soap smelled good the rest of the farm <laughs> it eh, smelled like questionable. a farm yeah it smelled like yeah. a farm but Feeney and preferred organics can be found locally uh, you can find her at Riverside Arts Market uh, local stores Earth Pets in Mandarin or Durban Creek Nursery or if you're lazy like me just go to her website preferredorganics.com thank you we'll have more after this